In this video we're going to look at finding fractions of amounts using a little bar diagram to help us. So we'll start with a fairly straightforward one. What about finding one third of 15? So we need to think about what this means. This means that 15 is our whole amount. So I'm just going to draw a little square, a little rectangle, to represent a whole amount that's worth 15. You need to think about what this fraction means here. One third means one piece out of three. So the denominator is telling me that I need to split my whole amount into three equal pieces. Try and get it as accurate as you can. So because I've got a denominator of three, I've split this into three equal pieces. So now what I've got to do is I've got to work out what happens if I divide 15 into three equal pieces. If knowledge of your times tables is good, you might realise straight away that that's 5. But if you're not sure, just count up in 3 until you get to 15. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So it's going to be 5 for each one of these pieces. And you can see here, we've got 3 lots of 5 there making the full amount of 15. Now we want one third of 15, so we want one portion of this bar just one of these here. So one third of 15 is 5. It's worth pointing out that finding one third of something is exactly the same as dividing that amount by 3. Let's have a look at one quarter of 28. So again I'm going to draw myself a little rectangle to represent my whole amount. The whole amount's worth 28. The denominator is 4, so that means I'm going to be splitting into 4 equal pieces. So I need to work out if I share 18 into 4 equal pieces, how big one piece will be. So 28 divided by 4. If you know your 4 times table, you'll know that this is 7. But again, if you're not sure, count up in 4s until you get to 28. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. So you can work out that each one of these pieces is worth 7. I'm just after one piece here because my numerator is 1, so I know that 1 quarter of 28 is 7. And again, just like here, 1 third was the same as dividing by 3, finding a quarter is the same as dividing by 4. And that will always work. If I was finding one-fifth of something, it would be divided by five, and so on. Right, let's have a look now at a couple of situations where the numerator isn't one. So you're after more than one piece. So let's have a look at something like three-fifths of 20. So I'm going to draw a rectangle to represent my full amount. That full amount's worth 20. The denominator's five. So I'm going to split into five equal pieces as best as I can. They look about, about equal, I think. So because I've split into five equal pieces, I need to work out what each one of these is worth. So I'm going to do 20 divided by 5. So from times tables, that's 4. But if you're not sure, count up 5, 10, 15, 20. So four lots. So each one of these one of these little bits is worth 4. So you can see here 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. There are 5 4's to make that full amount. Now look at the numerator. The numerator is 3 so that means we need 3 of these pieces. So I need to work out if I'm taking 3 of those pieces well I'm going to have 4, 8, 12. So what I'm doing there is 3 lots of 4 to give me 12. So I know that 3 fifths of 20 is 12. Let's have a look at another one. What about 7 eighths of 48? So again, I'm going to draw a rectangle to represent my full amount. That full amount is worth 48. My denominator is 8, so I'm going to try and split this into 8 equal pieces. So you can see I've done halves, then quarters, 
and split each quarter and half again that gives me eight it's quite a nice way of getting eights so I'm now going to share 48 into 8 equal shares and work out what that is so from your times tables that's 6 but if you weren't sure 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48 so 8 goes into 48 6 times so each one of these shares is worth 6 and you can see we've got 8 lots of 6 there to make 48 now look at the numerator I need 7 of these pieces so I'm going to need all of these to here so I'm going to be working out how many lots of 6 I've got here well I've got 7 lots of 6 so I'm going to do 7 lots of 6 work that out using your times tables that's 42 so I know that 7 eighths of 48 is 42 now sometimes you might need to use some of the other math skills as well so if the numbers are particularly big you might need to use multiplication and division strategies so we'll look at something like um, two thirds of 123 so my full amount here big number this time that's worth 123 my denominator is 3 so I'm going to split that into three equal parts I need to work out how much one of these parts is worth so I'm going to do 123 divided by 3 now it would be really silly to count up in threes till you get to 123 so I'm just going to use a quick example of short division here to work that out so threes into one don't go so I'm going to carry that one into my next column threes into twelve go four times and threes into three go once so I know that I can get 41 threes into 123 so each part on here is worth 41 if I look at my numerator I need two parts so the calculation I'm going to be doing to work this out is 2 times 41 now doubling a number is quite easy to do I'd probably split this into tens and units so I'd split that into 40 and 1 double 40 is 80 double 1 is 2 add those together that gives me 82 so I know that 2 thirds of 123 is 82 finding fractions of amounts is quite straightforward if you're confident with multiplication and division and your times tables it's really important that you can do those if you can do those this then becomes a lot more straightforward and a lot quicker to do thanks for watching